Looking for a good arch strengthening exercise? This is also the second part to how we deal with plantar fascia or arch pain. It's time to build that dynamic strength to help cure that foot pain once and for all. But first, please spend a few seconds to like our video, subscribe to our channel. If you found this video helpful in any way, please consider hitting the thanks button and donating. Also, our team has worked hard to bring some online exercise programs to you. You can find the link to our Revive at Home programs below in the descriptions box. We appreciate your support. To quickly recap our first video, the plantar fascia is a network of tendons and tissues that attach to our toes like a hammock to the rest of our foot. When these tissues become too tight, they start tugging and this strain can cause micro tears or bone spurs. To solve this, you're going to have to need cables that are going to have to tighten and have the tensile strength to absorb and endure that everyday demand and stresses your weight puts on your feet. Take back control of your heel pain, our revamped foot intrinsic strengthening next. All right, so this is part two of getting rid of plantar fasciitis and plantar fascia arch pain or bone spurs. You just need a golf ball or multiple golf balls. Your goal is think of the claw game, going down and grabbing that golf ball. But what we wanna do is you wanna, you don't wanna fork the ball. You wanna be able to just kinda, kinda curl around it and grip it with as many toes as possible. Now your goal is to get it to your opposite hand. That's the easy exercise. So we'll do the, you just go the opposite hand. And obviously you should do both sides because you might find that one side is worse than the other. So my left is probably worse and you might drop the ball, but promise if you keep being persistent, then you'll be able to get it, right? So we'll go here, you wanna go here. Now, if you wanna make it a little bit more progressive, you can do the ankle alphabets from video one coupled with holding on the golf ball. So here it is. I'm not gonna embarrass myself with my left, so we're gonna do the right, and you know, like I said, it's on the side, whatever. You just wanna be able to spell it. A, B, <laughs> Delta. Go, go down. All right, so you wanna be able to spell it. A, B, and try to reduce that shakiness, C. And then once you lose it, like I'm about to lose it, reset, so that's about close to D. I wanna redo it again. Yeah. You wanna get those arch, D, E, F, G, H. Notice how I'm not using my knees, just like in that first video. It's just all ankles. I, J, K, L, I'm about to lose it again because my arch strength or the endurance is very poor. So as you start losing the ball, that means your endurance is very poor on this. Yep. K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. Oh no, I'm losing again. And it's starting to cramp. And if it starts to cramp, you just work through it. If it starts to cramp, just work through it, you know? So it was, that's okay. S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Oh, I'm tired. So you should do these at home as many times as you like, but definitely keep working on that strength and use a golf ball. If you wanna use a slightly bigger ball, that also works too. That makes it even tougher. Let us know your thoughts on our video and leave us some love or questions in the comments box below. Please like and subscribe. We appreciate your support. I'm Dr. Lin. Remember, we heal smarter, not harder.